let's get started sewing without a sewing machine you can literally use glue or stitching tape for this but me I'm deciding to use the liquid glue stitch you just shake it up real good when you know just shake it and then once you're done shaking it you're gonna apply it to your fabric me I'm just using a simple fabric but if you're doing this with a bigger clothing or some type of material that you want to do it with the same method applies you know and then you squeeze it oops <laughs> sorry about that but if that happens to you as it just did to me you just you know spread it around you know just spread it and make sure that it gets on the fabric and then any excess glue that gets on you know your surface area that you're using just wipe it down and that's it keep spreading that glue and then you take your fringe and you just put it on the part where you had applied the glue to and then you gently press it down you know you keep pressing it down at the moment because the glue is getting on the fringes you gently press it down and you wait for 30 minutes for that part to dry after 30 minutes you use the same method to apply the blue ribbon right across and then you squeeze don't squeeze too hard like I did in the first one gently like I'm doing right now and then you apply your blue ribbon now I'm just using you know just a little bit of fringes and a little bit of blue ribbon just to show you I'm not doing a whole video on a whole you know clothing is the same method would apply as I said earlier and you tap very gently on the blue ribbon and again you let it sit for 30 minutes you know in, the, in those 30 minutes spare time do what you have to do take a break walk around <clears throat> After you're done patting it, of course, you let it sit for 30 minutes so everything can be really nice and dry. Any excess of anything, you just would cut it off. I cut it off already, that's why you didn't see me cut it off, but you know. But this is how it would look after the finished product, after 30 minutes. Everything is dry, everything is done. And this is the material that I use. You can get it online, you can get it at Joanne Fabric or any sewing store that you know in your area. And you can also Google it, you know, to find these material if you're like a busy person doesn't really have time to use a sewing machine a lot these things could be a great use for you like the stitching and the glue like comment subscribe